With all the controversy surrounding Justin Roiland, the inevitable has happened. He's been taken off Rick and Morty. What's next for him and the show? Stick around to find out. But first, we have to go over why Adult Swim has given him walking papers. Strap in, because there's a lot of ground to cover. Earlier this month, NBC broke news that Justin Roiland had been accused of one count of domestic battery and one count of false imprisonment. This isn't actually a new story. The incident that got Roiland in trouble took place back in 2020. Hello? Hey, Jessica, it's Morty. When the woman he was dating filed a felony complaint against him, the matter's in the news all of a sudden only because NBC discovered it and brought it to light. She accused him of causing serious bodily harm that traumatized her, to quote the complaint's legalese. Richard, you have desecrated the sacred treaty betwixt land and sea. On top of that, she was locked up through menace, violence, fraud, or deceit. Whichever one of these it was, it was an awful thing for Justin to do. Well, allegedly do. Since 2020, he's insisted on his innocence. And he was able to secure his release from custody by posting a $50,000 bond. But the investigation into the claims never went away. And the case is set to go to trial in April this year. Together. Gross. I might never come back from the ocean. Oh, you'll have to tone it down, babe. The squares can't handle it. I'll get into the consequences. Royland has suffered as a result of this matter coming to light, but NBC may have done the world a favor by outing him and pressuring Royland's business associates into taking appropriate action. Rick, he is unbroken, untamed. Perhaps he could use a firmer grip upon his leash. Okay. Now, you're probably hoping that this is the end of it, but just like the situations Rick and Morty get into, this is gonna get worse. As the controversy was breaking out, Allie Gertz took to Twitter to show the world the kind of texts she would receive from Royland. Shall we, Richard? Okay, but how do you- Jesus Christ, Jerry, he's Mr. Nimbus. He controls the police. Um Gertz, by the way, is a musician and comedian who created the Sad Dance Songs album for Rick and Morty. The stuff he texted was reprehensible, though he tried to excuse himself by blaming it on his fourth glass of wine. But Gertz's act inspired others to come out with texts they'd received from Royland too. For three-way, here's all the information you'll need. The king of the ocean wants to have a threesome with us. One of the most serious incidents involved him texting a minor fan. Telling her to run away from school was the least worst thing he said to her, and it just spiraled into horribleness from there. The movie? Or, or we could watch some interdimensional cable if you want. We now return to Nintendo 69. Nintendo. While Royland will try to defend himself against the charges of domestic violence, there is no getting out from under these revelations. At best, he could argue that this is just his sense of humor. You know, I can actually buy that. You can certainly see shades of this humor in his writing on Rick and Morty. But it's one thing to put this kind of talk in a screenplay. All the ways I was gonna mess it up. So what did you do? Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> but I found the one who loves me. It's another entirely to say it to someone in real life, especially a minor. People have lost their careers over less than what has been exposed about Justin. Delicious. Another. Oh, uh, well, I, I was thinking of using Morty, this one just for- just give him the bottle. God. And so it's only natural that he lost his spot on Rick and Morty. Speaking of which, what's gonna happen with that show? Well, the statement put out by Adult Swim was pretty short and to the point. It simply says that the network is ending its association with Justin Roiland. Rick and Morty, meanwhile, will go on, and the cast and crew are hammering away at the seventh season of the show. Now, Justin Roiland is kind of a big loss for the show. He helped create the show alongside Dan Harmon and was responsible for a lot of the writing. Perhaps more important, he used to do a lot of the voice acting for the show, including the voices of both Rick and Morty. All those roles will be recast, though Adult Swim might not be happy about suddenly needing a whole bunch of voice actors. If you're a fan of Rick and Morty, you might not have too much to be afraid of. Adult Swim has locked this show down for 10 seasons, and we will be ready. Mm. Uh. And the show is only now coming out with the seventh one. Before they could even consider leaving the ship altogether, they'd need to experience a really severe setback. After all, the domestic violence case against Royland has been in the public eye for two years, and Adult Swim is only acting on it now that it's public. I'd assume that Rick and Morty are going to be around as long as Dan Harmon isn't the one who gets canceled. Dwellers, do not keep Nimbus waiting and live. Be right out! Unless, of course, it turns out that the show is toxic behind the scenes. With the future of Rick and Morty safe, what'll Justin Roiland's fate be? Justin had two other shows he was working on, Hulu's Solar Opposites and Koala Man. It took them an extra day to get around to this, but Hulu's dropped Justin Roiland from both projects. God damn it!
it? What do you want me to say? 20th Century Animation was the studio producing both those shows, and they had an overall deal with Roiland, but they've also ended their association with the guy. Roiland himself took the initiative to resign from Squanch Games, the video game studio he created back in 2016. Squanch has produced a handful of games, with the most recent one being 2022's High on Life. With that, the Rick and Morty co-creator is basically nothing going on in his career. That's really quite the fall from grace. It'll be difficult for him to recover from the scandal involving him texting minors. ...to a lie. So I made lies my power. And what is power but a lie we... <laughs> even if he were to defeat the accusations made against him by his girlfriend. Harassing children is one of the few offenses that's never excused, not even in the seedy side of Hollywood. Years down the road, he might be able to get some kind of position on animated shows. Jessica, I, I'm so sorry. I mean, it's fine. You were only gone like a couple minutes. Morty, are you okay? But he'll never regain the celebrity status that he used to have thanks to Rick and Morty. It's hard to be sad about this, though. I have to say that it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. My girlfriend? Your girlfriend? I mean, she's not... We kissed, but I'm just trying to take it slow. But what do other Rick and Morty fans have to say about this turn of events? I'd love to tell you that they're all saying good riddance to Roiland. But Tim Pool is one of the fans who only sees the whatever the opposite of the silver lining is. The journalist commented on social media that there could be no Rick and Morty with Roiland and that Justin is Rick and Morty. Again! Elsewhere, Ian Miles agreed that the show is nothing without Justin Roiland, and YouTuber Brandon Herrera argued that Adult Swim will now hold Rick and Morty hostage while beating it to death. I don't think I get Herrera's point, but clearly he isn't happy. Dare assassinate Nimbus! Sorry, wait, who is that? Get in line, pal. <laughs> Others took the opposite extreme. At Tony Goldmark says that it took Adult Swim way too long to get around to doing this, while also implying that Roiland hadn't been very heavily involved in the show since season three. Pity for a sad, drunk shell of a man, too afraid to see how alone he truly is. According to Ashley Klein, the decision to leave Adult Swim was a good one even though it was challenging. She also foresees the criticism they'd face. She praises them for standing up for the people who work on Rick and Morty. Generally though, it looks like the fans respect the decision Adult Swim has made. Being a fan of a show doesn't always mean being a fan of its creators, and Justin's position is pretty hard to defend at this point. Even the sort of people who would line up around the block for Szechuan sauce aren't passionate enough to let someone who beats up their partner and sends inappropriate texts to minors be associated with the thing they love. But now, I want to hear from you guys. Do you agree that Adult Swim made the right call, or should Royland have been given a lesser sentence by the industry? 